hi virgo hope you're well so this will be your single spread um the we'll do two um readings in this uh, the first one will be focused on you and the second will ask about your new love um off the top of my head we'll just think of questions and ask whatever um i feel is important but okay let's see how you present yourself to the opposite or same sex we have high priestess two of pentacles uh, chariot um i'm getting someone who can come across as a bit um introverted but very secretive and a little bit moody is what i'm getting but there's a lot of people that are sexually attracted to you but i don't think you look um as interested <laughs> to other people you they see you as a bit indifferent um perhaps you have a lot of uh, secret admirers around you but you're you're very quiet and reserved so um it makes people think that perhaps you're not interested is what i'm getting from that your positive qualities as a lover we have page of cups nine of swords the tower inspired so moved stimulated challenged and I apologize for the sounds outside that is the city people working um, right outside my house so I can't do much about that I do have a mic but and I speak very I'm quiet as a person so hopefully you can hear me but you are someone who inspires others uh, you've been through a lot of ups and downs in your life um, so you're someone who can really lend an ear to someone especially lovers when they are going through their own um, dark night of the soul um, you're very compassionate with that page of cups that is very a generous kind sweet energy so i think you really can uplift um, your lovers when they feel down or when they feel that things um, are not under their control so yes you you give your uh, partners optimism and hope for the future is what i'm getting there what makes you hard to love <laughs> as a partner we have sun ace of wands so at first the sun threw me off because i thought these are both very you know, positive cards but sun the shadow aspect of the leo is ego um, so it could be that sometimes uh, you can be egotistical but we also have jealous um, so that is fire, um, a lot of fire can talk about jealousy, but also you being uh, suspicious, so not trusting easily. That could be a bit of an issue in your relationships. Um, what you can do to move past that, we have Knight of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. There's a lot of opportunities around you but i think you hold back too much with that four of pentacles the high priestess it's really telling you to lighten up a bit um, be open to the possibilities ahead of you um, knight of wands knight of cups is a lot of excitement but it's um, also being emotionally available and because four of pentacles is someone who's really gripping on to what they have so it's telling you to let go a bit and just go with the flow that is what they're saying what kind of men or women you attract towards you we have three of wands queen of swords so you attract very cold detached distant um, individuals um, people that don't make you their first priority perhaps they have um, other areas or their their energy is a bit scattered or all over the place, but they have um, other priorities and they don't make you their first priority. Uh, that is one scenario I'm getting. But also you attract um, people that are also suspicious. Um, they lack trust. Men or women you need to attract. We have Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. So someone who's grounded stable similar to you um someone who 
will be with you through thick and thin with that five of pentacles. Um, nine of cups is someone who's usually on their own but very content, um, quite self-assured. And five of pentacles can sometimes talk about insecurities. So what I'm getting is you need someone who knows who they are and they're happy being alone. So they don't need you, but having you in their life would be an extra. So that's what you need to look out for. When you can meet a potential lover, we have nine of pentacles, ten of wands. So that's nine to ten months. But also, if we look at the imagery here, a nine of pentacles is associated with a Virgo. We see this man with ten wands walking towards her. So I think you don't really have to do much. Um, work on yourself. Um, your pentacles take care of your body your health practical matters and i think you will stumble upon this person and naturally i don't think you're you have to put too much effort into it because i'm seeing in this spread that you have a lot of options i didn't get that for um, other readings so far but this one it's clear i i saw many people so um, it's really up to you now and what you want but really do um, put yourself first with that nine of pentacles and I'm, time frame is nine to ten uh, months but let's get more about who this person is Virgo tensions what no let's ask who this new lover will be their personality and then we'll go from there Okay, sorry Virgo, this is very disappointing because this is clearly a past person that's betrayed you and it's almost as if this person is blocking you. I, the new love does, is not coming through the cards here because of this person's strong energy. Yeah, this was a karmic or soulmate um, connection. Um, a lot of sexual attraction here, but there was some sort of ending. This could have been a work connection. doesn't have to be, but it can be that right now you're uh, not ready because the, the Queen of Swords is, you could have been dealing with an Aquarius, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have strong air here, so Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I think it's telling you that your focus needs to be more so on your career, um, practical matters with that Eight of Pentacles. And your ships will be coming in with that Three of Wands. It's just not showing up right now because um, this person's energy is very strong. Um, they're looking straight at you. And it's someone that you dealt with. This could have been a cheater with that star, seven of swords, eight of swords, it's, they, it's almost as if they left you in a state of a confusion. Um, 
a lot of unsaid, unsaid things. Maybe there's not, uh, there's no closure here. I don't know what's up, but whatever it was, it's left you bitter and closed off. And I was getting that in your um, single spread that we did a bit, that you have options, but it's almost with that high priestess that you're not willing to let anyone in or you're just being more careful with your heart this time around. Let's see. Yeah, you need to walk away from this situation. Oh, okay. Um, Oh my goodness, one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana. Unbelievable, Virgo. Okay, I see what's happening. I just, I, I have a, I want to confirm. Okay, yeah, there's someone coming in, so... Okay, yeah. So we have on again, off again. This will be this emperor. I didn't tell you, but I saw this in your single spread. I saw him and I, I thought I felt the new energy, but there, this past is still in your energy, which is why it overtook. So it overshadowed um, your new person, but your new person could be a Capricorn, a strong Leo Aries. Taurus, but th this is the one that you're waiting for. Your next serious person will be the one because we have, okay, on again, off again. That is because this person is um, from a different area than you. World can signify travel and sun, eight of wands. You could meet while you're traveling, um, but this there can be some sort of distance. Perhaps that is why it's on again, off again. And then we have divine timing. We can never manipulate time. You can only work with it. Start working hand in hand with your divine timing. Uh, realize you can't change your partner, but you can change yourself by healing your codependency, wounded soul. Um, so yes, this you both may have to work through some codependency here with the devil. Um, that We have two different decks confirming that. And then we have a long haul. Your love interest may be in it for the long haul and willing to go through it all with you. Enjoy the journey. So yes, whoever this King of Wands was, uh, complicated mirror effect, transformative soulmate, that was a lesson. Um, and it's telling you to emotionally withdraw and walk away from that because do you see this? Look at your new person, emperor, strength, devil, high priestess, world, sun, this will be a strong, um, intuitive and sexual connection. You, you will feel like this is a wish come true, Virgo. This is five, six major arcana in a row. So this is destined for you. This can't escape you. So don't worry. You will not miss your person. But I want to know um, more about this emperor who is he or she as a person A bit egotistical though, that's okay. Ooh.
okay we have the sun again so yeah a strong taurus leo aries um this is someone who's looking for a traditional uh relationship they it's they're looking for you because queen of pentacles is taurus virgo capricorn but meanwhile they're a bit um perhaps exploring their options they have many um of them they're highly highly uh, very sexually alluring to um, the opposite sex or the same sex um, this person has a lot of options but you were the first energy to come through here so this is the one i feel this is your happily ever after but this is someone exactly what your cards were telling you that you need this is that person because we have nine of cups on this person's a very happy person um, very passionate individual someone who is quite traditional they 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 really like to follow what's the, the tr tried and tested um, this is not someone who um, likes to take risks they really um, think through things a very stable grounded energy um, it's really hard to shake the hierophant um, because this is someone who's extremely um, structured so they follow order and this we have emperor and hierophant these both talk about structure so i i really like this person's energy but at times they can be a bit with all this fire they can also be a bit jealous possessive um a little bit of a arrogant vibe coming from them but they've accomplished a lot um in their life and they're in a high position here some sort of authority figure because the emperor is above the kings and the person you were dealing with in the past was the king of wands so this guy's at a higher girl guy is at a higher level than um, a higher vibration than your past person virgo beautiful um let's ask what will this new person's intentions be what do they want from a lover let's ask that They want someone who's very decisive someone who knows what they want and they go after that yes they don't like lazy people at all someone they're looking for someone um, that has a lot going for themselves someone who's very action oriented who's very communicative but also emotionally vulnerable and that was in your advice as well to be more open someone who's self-assured on a similar wavelength um, to them they want someone who's happy within themselves and someone who's emotional emotionally content this is what a lot of cups coming um, showing up here for what they want but yes they want someone who's emotionally expressive and a strong uh, communicator I want one more. Yeah, they, they, they want someone who's very decisive and controlled. They know they have goals and they're charging towards them. They like people that have a lot going on in their own life. Someone who's, who won't rely on them. Uh, let's ask physical characteristics let's put them back in um, maybe their profession um, will the attraction be instant between you both um, let's ask uh, your first impression of this new love Virgo Um, when you first uh, lay eyes on them, you'll see them as who, someone who's very hardworking, um, quite nurturing, caring, but a bit detached or this could be a work scenario or you meet at their workplace, but 
just someone who's in their own world, not really bothered by anyone or anything. Yeah, extremely guarded energy. But also someone who could be a great protector, provider. A bit weary. Um, someone who doesn't trust easily or let people in too easily that's what i'm getting very protective over their heart bit of aloof exterior virgo is how you'll be seeing them let's see how what will their first impression of single virgos be nice Yeah, <laughs> um, they, they, they're very much, it's interesting because they're appearing to you as if they're not interested, but they're highly, highly sexually into you, but they'll see you as um, a bit, I'm not sure why they will feel this, but I'm getting, again, a lot of Scorpio energy, so someone who has a lot of depth. Um, someone who can be a bit suspicious, a jealous, possessive, that sort of thing, but a lot of fire within you, very passionate individual, and someone who is a bit emotionally distant. King of Cups is someone who has a lot of emotion, but they normally don't show it. Um, another thing they could see, I'm almost getting you meet very, it's you meet and then you're gone. That sort of vibe is what I'm getting. So this will be a, one of those quick meetings where they see you and then you leave. Perhaps you have a conversation and then you're off. Um, they may sense some flighty energy from you, but... No, I'm just getting someone who's very much um, out and about having a good time is how they'll be seeing you. Great energy. Um, physical characteristics of this new love. <laughs> this Ten of Wands was uh, coming towards you in your single spread. Wow, they're like, do you see how covered all these characters are? The knight's face is not even showing here. And she's co covered in this cloak. We can barely see her. And this, this man's hair and everything is covered. Interesting. Wow, okay. Well, these two figures have uh, this gray hair, so they some of them could have black and gray hair. I think this is someone who changes up their appearance quite a bit, but very mysterious looking, because all of these figures, the night is completely covered. You can't see a single thing. But Ten of Wands is usually someone who's a very hardworking um, a lot of endurance, so I'm seeing someone who's fit, um, physically quite active. That's all they're giving us. Let's try this deck. Sometimes it can give us a physical appearance. This is someone who's at a distant, distant, distance from you. Okay, so 
what they're telling us here is with deception it's almost how you see them is not who they are so their appearance is actually quite deceptive um, they could come across as someone who's very cold aloof detached but um, they're actually a very warm generous kind loving person who has a lot to give to the right person the only why they appear this way is because they're someone who doesn't emperor doesn't like to waste time um, they're very careful of who they exchange their energy with but also this is someone who's quite busy in building their empire with increase in finances very action-oriented person they have a lot going for them but this is someone at a distance from you it says exploring new landscapes and meeting different people can bring fresh opportunities open yourself up to new experiences it's the ideal time to move on so there's some sort of movement with that horse the boat and then we have young man so possibly fair-haired yeah these nine of cups magician both had lighter hair um who is sociable and friendly but can be a lone wolf he is an intelligent gentle soul who loves animals and children and being in nature so yes possibly fair-haired may like to wear hats this guy has a backpack looks tall but someone who's very adventurous well, that's physical characteristics and let's see um their profession what do they do for a living i think this person has multiple streams of um, income this could be a divorce lawyer, an advocate of some sort. Counselor. Our teacher, someone who works with the younger um, kids, children. But it, whatever position they're in, they have to make a lot of decisions here. Oh, okay. We have finances and health and healing for their profession. So they could be an accountant, someone in the financial sector, a bank, something like that, or health and healing. So we have take care of your body, take time to simply breathe deeply and relax, walk in nature, meditate, eat a healthier diet. Small changes make a big difference. So it can be a dietitian, a doctor, a nurse, someone in the medical field, physiotherapist, that sort of thing. So either finances, health and healing are the two options we have for their profession. Okay, um, let's put this back in and then let's see if the attraction between you both will be instant. And perhaps the potential outcome between you both. And then I'll end it with a Chinese uh, zodiac sign describing their overall personality. Will the attraction between Virgo and this new person be instant? No. No. <laughs> This is while you're traveling, there's movement, you see each other briefly and perhaps um, reconnect over um, text message or exchange numbers, that sort of thing. Yeah, you're, you're, you have to work on a very slow energy. Um, if this is a work connection, you're traveling for school, work, whatever it is, 
um, it will start off a bit where you're both distance. You, one of you does notice the other. I think you you may spot them first. They'll catch your eye. You both will, yeah. Because the Six of Swords, the Chariot's looking right at the Six of Swords. Chariot was showing up strong in your energy. But yes, you'll have to work on this. This is something you'll start off a very light, flirty, friendly, and then you will build from there, Virgo. What is the potential outcome? Why is that? Okay, I see. It's again that past energy that's showing up here. Um, this is something, this is a connection because of your past experiences. Um, it will grow, uh, it's a gradual building of this connection. So Page of Cups is a very small offer. There's the, there's the seed here with that Ace of Pentacles, but with that Nine of Wands, you really have to um, work through whatever this codependency on um, these fears it's a bit of a cycle in your life that you need to complete i'm this energy here that five of pentacles ten of swords is insecurities but i'm that star seven of swords especially if you're dealing with an aquarius is this showed up this combination showed up twice um, but it it's all has to do with your past person but another warning is when you're moving forward with this new stable um person your emperor the past may try to come back and sabotage this connection so really i don't know what you can do about this past person i don't see them letting you go very easily and if you watch my other readings that you've been dealing with a really crazy um the king of wands has been haunting your readings ever since i started this channel three months ago and no matter what I do, I ask new, about new love, that person always manages to show up in your reading. And I think you are the only sign that this does happen with. Even in your outcome with the new person, why is the past showing up so strongly? Um, so I'm not sure. Um, perhaps you feel that you're over them and you're not completely healed from them. But there's some good um, meditations on YouTube that can really help um, there's a lot you can choose from so i think you would benefit from that or some sort of energy cleansing but let's get one um chinese zodiac card for who your new person your emperor is as a person What is this dragon this this imagery is really crazy but i'll read this to you yeah yeah that's the dragon so yang wood so it says innovative energetic independent and outgoing the dragon needs constant stimulation most loved and hated of the animals dragon has to be the center of attention generous and direct dragon can also be argumentative and demanding has a tendency to forget those less fortunate in the attempt to win at all costs and be a bit bossy um, dominating they are the emperor i'm um, someone who really does like to be in control um, so really um, there will be issues with this new person as well as in all relationships but they're not someone who's a cheater they're not someone 
with a wandering eye. Um, if they commit to you, they are loyal and steadfast. So that is a bonus. But yes, there will be some control issues. Uh, that codependency card that showed up with devil and um, your other card. So yes, this relationship will have its challenges, but I'm seeing um, it be well worth it because emperor is not only loyal but is also a great provider um very supportive and a strong um, individual to have by your side but that is what i have for you virgo take care of yourself and i will see you later bye